Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Soul Hunters. Real quickly before I start today, I just noticed that uh, Soul Hunters Facebook page, they had a question for us. They said, who's going to win between Tanya and Gus? So, I said, let's put this to the test. I have a couple of battles here between Tanya and Gus, All right? So, let's check them out here. I put Gus on defense and asked my guildmates to attack. The Tanya that's attacking is also orange, fully maxed out. The only difference is she's three stars, Gus is four stars. Will it make a difference? We'll find out. I'm not really sure. But while I noticed here, guys, is there is a lot of dodge. All right, there's a lot of dodge going on. Look at that. Tanya keeps missing every one of his attacks. I'm not sure if it's because of Gus. I got to check out his dodge ability here. Or it's just Tanya keeps missing everything I'm not sure and also Gus he's a terrible one-on-one -on -one fighter if you notice his attacks there's the rolling attack and then he kicks at the end that is meant to be an AoE attack uh, his ultimate is an AoE attack so most of his attacks are trying to do damage all over the field where Tanya is a single fighter she's a one-on-one -on -one fighter right She's definitely going to do more damage because she's straight up in his face just hitting him. The only problem is she's missing a lot. So she's, look, dodge again. That's the only problem that I've noticed with Tanya. Gus, on the other hand, he's actually dodging as well. But his attacks are not as precise. Meaning they're, see, he rolls to the end and then he... Sh you know hit something at the end here's his stones but too late time's up so no winner in that one is a tie nobody won let's check out some of the details here though and tanya 25,000, gus 18,000. so obviously tanya does more damage because she's all out in his face let's check out one more battle here i got for you guys this is the second battle so let's check out this battle here boom right away both dodge all right, so here we go. Gus is just going all over the place, doing his own thing, not even paying attention to Tanya. <laughs> and she just stands there and waits for him to come back, and she just attacks. So, same type of deal as the last one. Nothing really changes. Silence, dodge, boom, hit, nothing in the back. There's another ultimate here, 5,000. nothing there so his ultimate is missing her a lot she definitely hits him but boom more dodge so as you guys can see tanya and gus i've tested it out and there is no winner one-on-one -on -one, they just nobody wins they're just dodging everything but if I had to put my money on somebody where it was not timed and you can just let them fight until somebody loses, it would definitely be Tanya. She would win. As you can see, Gus's health is slowly going down, whereas Tanya keeps replenishing her health. And she's a three star, so and she's still got more health than Gus. Here's another attack here. Gus's life is going down pretty quickly. So if it's not timed, Tanya would win every time, I think. If it's timed like this. One on one, it just doesn't last enough. And this one was a two star Tanya as well, and she did pretty good. So there you have it 40,000 damage, 20,000. Tanya is a better one on one fighter, obviously. All right, so vote for Tanya in that Facebook um, post. But it's not what we're here today. Today, we're here to fight some Hall of Legend visit fighting. But before I do that, let me just thank El Latino and. Uh, Fox from my guild for you know helping me out with that Gus um, Tanya situation thing. All right, so let's move on. Let's head over to Hall of Legend here, guys, and continue on some Vincent fighting. All right, so let's check out the damage being done. Ooh, Wooster from my guild is top with 968,000. So let's see how I'm gonna be able to do with this here. Now, um, why do I have this team here? Hmm, this is a all-out physical team. Damn. Do I want to try this? All right, screw it. I'm going to try this, guys. I don't know why I'm going to try it, but... 
sometimes I just do some crazy things and just let it go as as it's there. I don't know why this team is there, but I want to kind of see what they can do. It's a ton of damage. Oh, I actually think this was my Haruk team. That's why it was there. That's right. But let's see how they do versus uh, Vincent here, though. Okay, three ultimates all at once. Hmm. 300,000. Go Musashi! But not going to be able to lifesteal here because of his ultimate. Tanya is dead. And I'm not sure if Tanya is such a good hero for this guy. But that's 600,000 there. Hmm. Oh. Keep going, keep going. No! Dead. Alright, so this team is not good. Let's go and use a different team here that we actually make some sense. Alright. So let's take this team out. So first of all, we're going to need a good tank. Because the key to Vincent is you don't want him to kill your tank right away. Once he kills your tank, your backline is screwed. So I'm going to go with my best tank. And I think the best tank in the whole game, guys. Drago, the best tank. Other than that, um, I'm going to go with Gizmo because Gizmo dishes out crazy damage, alright? Gizmo we're going to put in there. Who else? Who else? Who else? Let me just see. Oh, Garic. I love Garic. Now I'm debating whether I should put... I want to put some backline heroes though. That's for sure. Let's put in Slim. And uh, let's see here. Huh? Should I put in Gale? No. Seraphin. Alright, Blood Spear. I love the combo of Blood Spear and Garic. I think it's a pretty cool combo. If they can get their ultimates off closely, they'll get some haste and some extra damage. So let's see how this team does here. I'm just hoping that Drago here can survive for a while. So we're already at 200,000 here, which is not bad. Okay, so I'm going to use it. Oh, uh, Blood Spear. And go Garic Insulin. 400,000. Gizmo Ultimate will tr bring me 500,000. Ooh, 600,000. Go Garic, no! Drago is very close to dying, though. That's the problem here. Ah, oh, Garic is dead. Another Ultimate from Blood Spear and that. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, not quite enough. 700,000. Alright, so we're up to 16 here. Let's check out damage. They all did pretty good damage, though. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, so let's try something different. Um, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put the Awakened Vincent here. I'm thinking with his Awakened item and a boost from the Forge, he should last a little bit longer, don't you guys think? Let's try this out. Let's see how this does. Oh, low battery. Jesus Christ. At the worst possible time. Alright, so I'm going to have to make this quick here. And so far, Vincent looking good. Mini Vincent versus Big Vincent. Let's see who's going to do better. Alright, go, go ultimate right away. Just going to use all their ultimates. I'm not even going to wait here. But Vincent is looking great. The only problem is that... Uh, what's it called? Alright, there we go. Go Garic. Ultimate. 600. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Okay, they're not dead though. Ah, Vincent died. 700,000 here. No. Damn it. Same type of deal. Hmm. Alright, so we might have to... Let me think here. I might have to do a double tank. But I figured that didn't work last time though. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to try and I'm going to hire... I'm going to do this. I'm going to hire a Hanzo. Yeah, let's do that. Let's find me a Hanzo. Is anybody renting out Hanzo? Please. For the love of God, somebody... Ooh, but I love I love Urstack here. I think Urstack probably does good. I don't have a good Urstack, so I don't use him. But there we go, Clam Juice, the Clamster. But I wonder if I should use both. All right, screw it. I'm gonna try Vincent as my tank and Hanzo as kind of my support tank with you know a lot of attack. And let's see how this does. 
All right here. I might have to switch that Slim too though. Slim, I'm not sure about Slim here. Slim diggity dow. Ultimate, ultimate. And let's see if this does any better. Oh, maybe I used that at the wrong time. I think I did. So 400,000 here. I'm going to save this. Oh my God. Hanzo is about to die. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So this is why I saved that ultimate for, for when he used those, the bats, but too late. We're dying fast. Keep going, keep going. If I can somehow get one more ultimate from Gizmo, I think that's the goal. That Gizmo ultimate does so much damage. He's always the top dealer, so. What I want to do is take him out, put him in. I need something else in there. I need somebody else in the front. Should I try this? I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna try this. All a lot of magic and let's try this. A lot of DPS here. I'm just curious. This guy is never one that I do great in. I don't know why I just suck when it comes to Vincent. But let's hope this round I do better here. I'm gonna try to hold off on these ultimates though. Go Garik, use your attack here. Uh, all right, so he goes back to health. I do have a lot of ultimates here. I think I should use them now. Ah, too late, he died. All right, let's use some ultimates here. Even though I'm not sure this is going to be a good round. I highly doubt it. 500,000. But he's turned around. Rah. I was going to say he's turned around with Ethera. But then she died. Yeah, that team sucks. Don't use this team, guys. Don't use this team at all. Hmm. Not good. Yeah, that team... Oh, I'm out of tries, and my battery's running low. I might just have to settle for 15th, guys. Yep. How close am I, though, to the top? 900,000. Not that far away, but I'm going to have to settle for 15th right now. My battery, as you saw, is dying. So I'm going to end it off here with these five battles. I guess my advice is use a heavy tank. Drago is good. And then a bunch of DPS in the back. Gizmo works really well. Slim did good there. Uh, Garik does well. Just try a bunch of different things, guys. All right. So I'll end it off here. Till next time I see you. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. This is Worst Effing Gamer signing out. See you guys next time.